School districts all across the state are scrambling to be in compliance with House Bill 3. The bill went into effect on September 1st. It requires all campuses in the state to have at least one armed officer. Because of lack of personnel and funding, Round Rock ISD filed for a good cause exception during Thursday night's school board meeting. After going through some uh, some analysis of what's available to us in terms of options under the statute. We felt that uh, it was in the best interest and the desires of the community if we uh, suck with peace officers as opposed to going with some other options such as guardians or marshals. Currently, Round Rock ISD has 24 officers. In order to be in compliance with the bill, the district would need to hire an additional 44. In my opinion, I think the marsh, marshal and guardian option was developed for very small districts with one, two, three, four schools because um, they're easily managed in that environment. Once you, once you get to a scale of this district, you'd have to set up an entirely um, new uh, management unit. Even before the mandate was put in place, Round Rock ISD says the district has struggled to get officers to work for their district. So us fulfilling this mandate is not a money thing. We're not going to find the people to do it because I can't feel the aid I got now that's been in the budget. Until the district is able to get those officers hired, they say they will prioritize presence on high school and middle school campuses, assign dedicated officers to groups of elementary schools for coverage, and lastly, reduce the number of elementary schools assigned to each officer as staffing increases until all campuses have an assigned officer.